All right, demon dice. Demon dice and peak, or demon dice and stats. Or second pit, so I get sits pit, unless somebody wants to necessarily swap with me here. I'm more than happy holding on to Razzy B, as always, but, you know, there's high priority no matter which way you swing it here. Yeah, I'm fine with taking Zen out of the way. I do not mind if my teammates meet to say, Hey, do you not want to play with Zen? I will always say, without a doubt, I don't want to play with Zen, and no Ets either. Hmm. It took Finny away from our goalie. She might fall back to Mako then. I do think I still want to go peak without a doubt, but then I might just go siphoning to really contest and be a problem. It's just that I don't know if I want to commit to Vice, considering how Rune means we're going to be a little bit, and not going to be looking as offensive potentially. But let's see how it comes to be. Thank you for choosing me. Because if it's Rune, I could go towards Joy potentially as well, of course. They took Rasmus and Joy at themselves, so in that case, I do think I'd go with Vice. Vice, or I just go Kazan, and I really just went to Brawl, Brawl, Brawl. I think I like Vice what? more, and I'd something? like to stick with Pete, that way I can really contest around. As well as stats could be here, this allows me to potentially have Stagger City, and Siphoning allows me to contest with it. Ready I get Survival, roll. and you know, better residual speed overall. Let's see how it goes. Switch, Pummers, Forwards have Peak, Razzy B and Goey has the stats. Alright, let's just see how this goes. Carry it down. Almost had a simple beef. I was really I was really holding on to my Thunderstruck right there. Trying to see if I could get a potential reaction out of things. Oh, why am I lagging? Not again, dude. Fini beefed it! As he be is very much so important to move up. There is no fault in that there. On my war. Let's not miss my dread. I gotta yeah, I was about to say I just start immediately moving up to support this play. Rebounds if I can, I don't. I'd say George is gonna start bringing it in, so I got I just gotta offer my face as as a live bait to the play, basically. Now when my nerves against Razzy B. And now Let's say I'm just gonna hold my ult, but Finny just had the better heads up play. Alright, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. That was a little rough and stuff, and the fact that, you know, we lost our first barriers to, one, to me not being able to follow up on our teammates, and then two, uh, me lagging so I couldn't contest it at all, really freaking sucks! Nice bat pass. That, that really screws up my play onus right there, because I was looking to try to find a way in otherwise. We got a barrier. We got a. Ooh, that misdirection almost screwed things up. Nice, nice hit, Razzy B, I gotta say. Yeah, I did just kind of toss that out there without really much recompense. Oh, I can't believe the man survived. I, let's get the orb, deny Joey from having anything, and then I just want to immediately send and challenge. This challenge to my face. I got Joey's evade out, which is great. I can't believe I didn't hit anybody there. Are you kidding me? And then the dash punch? Oh, this sucks so much. Oh, this sucks so much. Rune got caught. Can't say much about that. That just happens. But if I, if I, you know, I didn't have any cooldowns left after I hit Julie with my Thunderstruck, so that just sucks. And my Supernova just also didn't kill Rasmus, which also sucks. The. The big, I guess, saving grace that we really have here at the moment is the fact that, uh, to face. The fact that they are all pretty low on energy. So I'm just, I can just try to force respect one way or another. If I even land hits to begin with, that's, of course, priority number one when it comes to. That's keep it in the hot corner. Good stuff there. I can contest up because Rune has his anomalies fall back. I'm sorry, because he has Shadow to fall back down to. Why did I lag that way? I need to know. Ah, oh, dude. If I didn't rubber band, I'd have better positioning! That's unfortunate, but it's like one. Any any game can easily turn on its head with good awakening drafts, so let's just see what happens. Dude, all the Stagger City traits are here. Are you serious? That's only every one of them, including Big Fish as well! So there's, there's no more Stagger after the set here. 
which is very, very interesting. I'm lost in draft, so I'm not going to have a real pick of the litter. Jet is getting extra special already. So then it just comes down to what does everybody else necessarily want? Because Rune can just uh, really just get reverb, I suppose, at this point then. I'm going to take reverb if he doesn't want it because... Okay, he gets ripped out Remedy. That's pretty fine on this end. Joey gets big fish, whatever. I could go for quantity or quality, but I'd want quantity considering how siphoning I want. I want that burn and ticking to just keep going at every opportunity that we get. I cry if you could have timed that out a little bit more. I did grief dread right there. I am not going to lie. But as long as we can try to keep pushing Joey around, or if we can get, if we can get cheesy stuff like that, I'm not going to deny that is very, very effective. All right, good, good start. Play disruption on the, just the top end. Even get an orb before I come back down on around. Yeah, this rubber banding is no bueno at all here, Chief. Almost had it, but Rune has Shadow to watch. Great stuff, play. Great, great stuff, fam. Great stuff. Great stuff, play. Wow, I'm actually losing it right now. I go. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, all things considered. Fact that you know his tempo banishes were really good to disrupt the attention on the play. And then it's that we sell. Once Rune pressed the banish button, I know that Juliet's just gonna be stun to all eternity. So I just need to uh, play it down. Try to grind it. But you can see right there, I'm still able to find my way in just from keeping Rasmus and Watt in the corner. Because if I'm just holding his face, he can't really move out in front at all. Otherwise, you know, I can. Uh, uh, otherwise, C is prone to just losing anything through, through my abilities. So I can grind a advantage out, force his evade out, and so I, I, I force him in a not so advantageous situation overall, and we'll take that. All right, I guess I'm gonna say, being respectful of Julie, because I, I know that she wanted to look for that dash punch, like, literally, frame one. Ooh, sorry, 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 that's on me. In that case, then, keep Vinny low. Forced her evade, which is great. And also, she's still just suffering in general. I'm gonna tick on her at the very least, and she still doesn't have an orb. Ditching, taking damage. No, this is the best yet. Julie is finding a way to potentially get in. Good reaction. The fact that I ate that misdirection too is absolutely huge. I need to get a hit one way or another. Ooh. Cornering opportunities all together. Ooh, try looking for a cheesy way in on Rasmus right there. This is dangerous. That is really, really nice. I got nothing to say about that. That was really good on them. Thought I could just maybe force things in. If I hit it to the top right, another play could have potentially come around, but I was just trying to chip it in. And considering how close to energy I was, I will admit that tunnel visioning wasn't, and so it was definitely on my mind at the moment right then and there. I was hoping I could get Finny, but fact is, I still got a wicked ass angle. The double cut, potentially. Not immediately. But I am just going to force immediate respect and kill Rasmus if I can. Did not, but I'm just going to deny the orb, keep the pressure on him. And Rune just got to hold instead. Nice stuff, dude. Nice stuff. All right. Great pickup play. Fact is, with more offensive traits coming around, I could continue running this train on controlling their energy and all. So we will just see how things go. Okay, well in that case then, I know what I'm getting. As much as prize fighter would be great, as much as denying potential rapid fire prime time would be great, I do think that just amping up everything and having my and having my entire kid be way better is huge. Rasmus doesn't even go for it. He goes for Mind of the Colossus, which is also its own viable option. But with Drek on the table potentially too. I don't know about that. He's doing Ponder. Okay, safe goalie choice. No problems there. I just gotta look at maybe if we can shut down Finny then. Surprise that pri uh, Prime Time really made it through that draft all things together there. But I, I, there, there's a very big use case for all traits and everything that we're seeing around here. Almost got Julie. 
She did strafe around my hit though, so good on her. But I got Finny, and guess what? That's her prize fighter stat gone, idiots, suckers, nerds. So now I'm just gonna make evading a constant problem for them. Cause look at the potential energy bars. Not really high, I'll be honest with you, Chief. Not really that high. That is a absolute boatload of damage. I say as I immediately then just whiff my next two abilities. Look at them rotating though. This is really, really good good play from all of them. Because as much damage as I am dealing, I'm not getting the chance to execute anybody. Which is really the bread and butter problem. I'm gonna beat Fini- No, I went! Be kidding me! I would have beaten Fini to the arm! Just trying to zone her out with my abilities here. Maybe not the best play. Drek held it for his life, dude. Holy crap. Trying to just zone for what I can here. I lost my strike war. Keeps it away from Julie, potentially, was my thought process there. Oh, it just threw balled. Really, dude? I say really, like, nobody expected it. Like, good on them. But it's like, ah, oh, that's so rough. That's so rough, but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. If, I, if we can just ping Joy enough, quite frankly, here. That pull is so annoying. Oh, well, there's no Joy pings to be had here. Is the, that is the annoying problem, of course. There's a lot of stagger I did just take. Ah, guess what? Thunder, it's like, uh, what's his face? Supernova used to survive is all that it takes. And guess what? I can just immediately blink on in. I will steal the other orb. I'm bat. Right as rain. Healthy as I'll ever be. And we were able to... Uh, now, granted, you know, I was basically just out of the play as much as Julie was there. Ooh, thought I'd get a good weight on that play there. It's all right. Yeah, because uh, because they ha uh, say they see me casting Thunderstruck, they have to evade. And since they don't want to get hit by the Thunderstruck still, they have to still respect it, not hit the core and let it bounce over. That is Vice 101 for drawing both evading, getting their energy out, and making sure that you force them into a lose-lose scenario. You love to see it. Decent run. I'm gonna cast it a little. Actually, no, that stuns Razzy B, so that's actually that's actually amazing for us. See if I can't hit Joey, just disrupt her for what we can. But say that was potentially dangerous right there, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just pressing Thunderstruck so I can get my energy. And I'm trying to see if I can get a grind. Great follow-up rune! Amazing stuff, dude! Because, yeah, if I can just force Rasmus's burst, that's all that I wanted out of it. And then, we can really start to force a play. Nobody has energy but Julia on their end. I'm just gonna hit Finny immediately and make it her problem. Yeah, Rasmus works at the orb, but Finny is still out of the play. No hits my abilities at all. It's whatever. Just tap the girl. Shit. Okay, still step forwards. I was trying to grind it down to rune as much as I could there. Potential bat pass. Sneak it. Didn't get it. Oh, but rune is absolutely running a tear! Let's go, dude! Nice stuff! Your banishes have been absolutely on point, and I just held the corridor, so take that set MVP, dude. Take that. See what you want out of it. Catalyst and Stinger on the same draft, and even Heavy Impact. Oh, jeez. There's a lot of explosive stupid traits here, dude. There's a lot of stupidness. Yes, Rune takes Catalyst. I love you, dude. You're doing everything right here, baby. You can only deny one of them potentially, Julie. Which one do you want?
You're taking Heavy Impact, that's the better play, considering how you can maybe work for Dash Punches, but I get Stinger, and guess what? This is gonna be stupid, the quantity I have from taking reverbs is going to tick, tick, tick away at your health if it wasn't doing so before. That prize fighter is gonna tick, tick, tick away from you, Finny. Okay, I was about to say, Rasmus is already looking as prospective as he can, but guess what? That's Julie dead. Guess what? That's my orb! Uh, that's your orb taken away! Okay, I might have beefed it there, because now there's no offensive line to keep Rasmus down low. Why am I lagging? Say burst on the table, potentially? Yes. Huge. I missed another power cord. That is absolutely monstrously horrible. Great! Guess what? That's another power toward kill and everything. That's Julie gone. Great stuff. And 50-51. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's really just drowning out by us now. And once again, that is just with the fact that draft won after they won set one. It's like, yeah, was just there's no stagger traits left! And so there's no survivability left on the table for anybody to potentially, you know, grind and fight for. I might be dead. I am not dead. Because of that, it's just going to be, slowly but surely, one team's going to drown. It's unfortunate that's gotta be them, but... Right, forced Rasmus' burst, and even as long well as she held it, didn't amount to much. Great angles from- dude, my angles have been absolutely disruptive on them all. Okay, Julie's getting way too close for comfort. Good lining, my dude. If I wasn't lagging, though, this would be way better. Keep threatening Rasmus at all times. Yep, there you go. Like I said, that's just me forcing respect and space. Stinger means that neither of them are healthy enough to make a player so. And it's just so hard. It's so hard for them to get in. I don't know why I pressed the teleport button there, I'll be honest. Oh my goodness, I knocked Vinny into the vanish just from that power toward hit. That is absolutely hilarious, dude. Okay, that hurts. Good, good tempo swing on me right there, though. Taking all the damage in the world. I was about to say, I'm just gonna keep running out and around here. You can look at me all you want, Julie. Right? That force. Oh, almost. Almost, almost. That was also just another case of major lag to me. I'm dead in the water, but Ruin could potentially have something. Look at look at the breaking that he is putting on right there. Jet moved a little too far up though when I was dead! I would just say Ruin almost had the break of a century. The ankle breakers? Let's see, I gotta keep cutting off Julie. Alright, alright, alright. That's rough. After I lagged and whiffed my burst completely there, uh, Jet also did move up. But, you know, like, we all did our ones. It's quite frankly, like, we were, we've been stomping them, so I'm not gonna blame them for moving up and being emboldened. It's just one goal, but as long as we still win the set, that's just what matters. Just tap them all, get that damage ticking. Immediately just go and deny the orb. Again, make sure nobody's ever comfortable to play the game but me. Tap, Raz. Say this is difficult considering how there is a burst on the table from Joey here. Just keep zoning, keep zoning, keep zoning. It is getting orb. She whiffed though, huge. Sorry.
Great, great strike shot, my dude. I was to say, Rasmus was very much so looking to try to find a way into the game right there. That backwards power cord could have been dangerous. Could have been, is the keyword. I just keep tapping the enemy as much as I can here. Good kill. Dangerous. Nice. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fact is, that was just way too much pressure for them to ever deal with, and we got to drown them out. Siphoning Moron really came through, along with, of course, taking Pete to make sure I could keep rolling back and forth. And even with, like, yeah, me dying once or twice or so, yeah, that's one goal converted. But we just had so much more omniscient pressure constantly from midfield on. Runes, without a doubt, deserves that MVP for how many times his banishes really dis disrupted the enemy from being able to get a play going. And also letting me find that immediate wake up of, all right, banish into a thunder, into a supernova fully charged, into a power card right after. Just let that keep t t ticking on.